What is up YouTube? It's your boy Connor Eilers coming back at it with another video. As you guys can see, we're out here in the Florida Keys still on the water. Like I said last video. And today we got something really cool here planned. I'm out here with my sister, Morgan. Hi. And uh, we're gonna be sliding out to a place called Luki. It's actually a reef out here. And uh, it's actually one of my favorite reefs to go to. Probably one of the best out here in the Florida Keys. It's amazing, all types of wildlife. And uh, yeah, it's a protected reef out here. It's just cool to go in, you know, snorkel around and just admire all the wildlife. This is one of those videos for some of you guys. If you guys just want to see me swim around and admire everything, then this is your video. If not, if you guys want to see me shoot stuff, go to the other videos. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. We're going to head out now. I'll see you guys out there. You. All right, y'all. So we made it to the spot. We're going to buoy up right here. There's buoys all along this reef, all along Luki. And uh, you can actually just take your boat, dock it up, and just tie it for a few hours. You can't anchor here because it is a live reef, but um, we're gonna hop in now, see what we can find, see what see what's cool. Look at all these fish already behind the boat. This is what it's about, guys. I don't know how well you guys can see those fish, but there's a school of, I can't really tell what they are, but bunch of life, guys. Check them out. Beautiful out here. We're gonna hop in. Welcome back underwater, guys. First thing I wanna say about what's going on around this time of year is um, the mangroves are spawning. So as you guys can see, there's a ton of life, but as soon as I make my way down to the bottom here, you are gonna see what we call the mangrove spawn down here in the Florida Keys. Just check out all these jumbo, jumbo mangrove snapper. They're all about 16 to 20 inches. Um, the camera never does justice, but you can just see there's just a ton, a ton of snappers. And yeah, this was just really enjoyable for me to hop down there and just admire all these guys. Got a little bit, you know, usually I'm hunting these guys down, so I got a little bit uh, excited here, as you guys can see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to just let a lot of clips roll throughout this video, so you guys might just be hearing the ocean. Um, you'll hear the rocks from the reef. That's how you know it's a live reef. If you listen really close, you can hear everything cracking. So I'm just cruising around here looking for more wildlife, and... Uh, this big, big, big parrot fish, or two of these big parrot fish, beautiful. Look at the colors on them. Just one more beautiful fish here. I think. All right, y'all. So I'm headed down on another drop, and um, there's two file fish here. These fish are really interesting. Um, they kind of look like a trigger fish, in my opinion, but um, they're actually called the file fish. So yeah, two file fish. Another cool, cool species out here at Luki. But yeah, I'm just chilling, looking around. All right, so right here on this dive, I actually spotted a super, super nice mangrove snapper. One that actually stood out a lot more than all the other ones. He's probably weighs about five, six pounds. And uh, you can see how hype I am to see this fish. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can see the girth on him. He's a, it's a solid fish. The camera never does justice. And then right there, that was a nice sized hogfish. So I told my sister, go down there and take a quick photo. But yeah, guys, if you guys are in the Florida Keys and uh, you guys are looking for a cool snorkeling spot, I definitely recommend this spot. This is my favorite. Um, there's nothing really like it. There's so much life out there. Here's the mangroves again. Look at all of them. This is the mangrove spawn. So you guys won't see this many mangroves all year round, but you'll definitely see them in the mix. Look at this guy. Stud. I mean, they're just everywhere. It was amazing. The weather does get a lot better. It was not a super, super clear day, but there's days where it's crystal, crystal clear out there. And um, those days are the ones you really, really want to be there on. But I mean, for the most part, it's always beautiful. It's always clear. You'll never really get too, too murky conditions out there. So yeah. So on this dive here, this is actually a pretty cool dive. Um, I went down and um, there was actually a stingray just chilling on the bottom. But uh, we'll give it a second. Let it play out here. So as you guys can see, there's a stingray chilling right there. And um, yeah, I'm just relaxing. I kind of wanted to touch the side of its fin, making sure there's no eels behind me. Uh, I kind of wanted to touch the side of its fin, but got a little bit spooky there. So I've had some times where I could touch their fin, and that's what I wanted to do, but. Not today. And then right here, I just wanted to show you guys this little uh, down spiral cave. It was pretty cool. As you guys can see when I swim through it here, there's uh, some, some awesome coral. So right 
right here on this dive. It's beautiful, beautiful. As you guys can see, look at all the coral. But look at this beautiful fish. It's actually a parrotfish. Beautiful guy. I've noticed these guys just like to eat and poop a lot. <laughs> all right, so right here, this is actually a really cool species. I like these guys a lot. This is a Spanish hogfish. As you can tell, they got some pretty cool, interesting colors on them. This guy was just squirming around. All right, so right here, actually playing back this footage, I was actually a little surprised I did this, but um, so it's hard, really hard to see, but there's a little moray eel in there, and he's poking his head out, and I'm just playing with my finger in front of his face. I don't know what I was thinking there, but I don't know the things I the things I watched back. <laughs> Another cool dive. This is a barracuda. A lot, a lot of people are scared of them, but honestly, I feel like they feel like we're more predators than they are. So usually they spook off just like that. So I couldn't end the video, and I could not show you guys all around Blue Key without showing you guys this Goliath. Um, when there's not a lot of boats around, this guy just hangs out. He'll come up right up to the boat, and yeah, I feel like that's just something you guys have to see. And then just wrapping up the video here, guys, I have a cool drone shot here to show you guys all of Luke Key. Um, but anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for watching if you stayed till this far. Um, I know this was a little bit slower of a video than you guys are used to. Usually we're out there catching fish or shooting fish. But tell me what you guys think about this video. And uh, as always, guys, stay out there on the water. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.